Hey, welcome to my channel. This is an introductory video to a series in which I'll be teaching you the basics of the creation of a WordPress theme from scratch. WordPress is a content management system. A content management system, aka CMS, is a software application that can be used to manage the creation and modification of digital content. In other words, a CMS is a software that helps content creators to create web pages very easily and more importantly, without requiring them to have any prior knowledge of coding. In order to achieve that, WordPress provides a very simple user interface that contains the necessary tools for users to create and shape their ideas into a variety of forms, such as landing pages or blog posts. Speaking of tools, Alongside with Gutenberg, which is the default text editor in WordPress, users have access to thousands of free and premium features that they can install to provide some additional functionalities. Yoast, for example, is one of the most commonly installed plugins that helps bloggers to create SEO-friendly posts. Another example is Monster Insights, which provides all kinds of metrics related to websites' visitors and their behavior. There are two types of WordPress websites. The first one is websites that are hosted on WordPress.com, which allows users to just sign up and start creating content so they don't have to worry about hosting and technical stuff. However, that creates a kind of limitation when it comes to customization and monetization. WordPress.org, on the other hand, is where you can download the software itself and do whatever you want with it, and then Upload it to the hosting service provider of your choice. Around 35% of websites on the internet are built with WordPress. That basically means that one of every three websites on the internet is running WordPress on its backend. Users produce about 70 million new posts and 77 million new comments each month on WordPress.com. This is a real-time tracker of the behavior of content creators and visitors of sites hosted on WordPress.com only from all around the globe, and as you can see, dozens of posts and comments are pushed through the platform every single second. And this is a live counter of downloads of the 5.3 version from WordPress.org, so 30 million copies have been downloaded up until this moment. Joomla is the second most widely used CMS, has a market share of 4.6%, while the first place is taken by WordPress with a 62.2% market share. Even though WordPress is the number one choice for small startups and businesses, big companies from various industries also use WordPress, and here are some of them. With all of that being said, it's clear that there is a big opportunity for WordPress developers to create a business based on this technology, and here is how. Freelancing, therefore creating WordPress themes for local businesses, 
or online through freelancing websites like Freelancer or Upwork. Selling themes on Theme Forest, where you just publish a theme and people buy copies of it. Selling premium plugins. With that being said, the community of WordPress developers has insanely grown and so the competition, so your themes need to stand out to make the fortune. In this series, I'll be teaching you the fundamentals of WordPress, the architecture of a WordPress theme, and the tools that you need in order to create a theme from scratch. It's more like a beginner's guide to the ABC of WordPress themes development, hence we are not going to worry about design stuff. Before we start, you need to have a basic knowledge of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and PHP. So, this is it for this first video. Make sure to subscribe and see you in the next one.